Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. What is up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the new Easter event. It started yesterday, it's gonna last 14 days. We get a bunch of rewards, but they are pretty expensive and we'll look at that today. So first of all, it's a PvE event. You kill enemies in any game modes, missions, dungeons, arenas. They will randomly drop eggs. Well, yesterday on stream, I did everything. I did missions, I did bronze, silver and gold. And it seemed to be pretty similar on silver and gold. So I guess the more enemies you kill, but it's so much harder in gold that it may not be worth the extra time to get just a few extra eggs. So let's go guys, check the shops. But like I said, I got 167 yesterday on stream, 91. I did one bronze, three silver, two gold for 91 eggs. And that's not that much because you will see the price of the rewards guys. So let's start with Willow. So Willow got the stickers you see under my face cam, but you got the extreme triple uh, egg sticker, I guess, and the single egg sticker and the rabid rabbit. So stickers are 50 each. So that's about an hour of farming eggs for one sticker. So I don't know if they will be popular unless you really, really like these stickers. I think you should keep your eggs for something else, guys. Now, Big Red got the camels. That's what I would do at the end of the event with my leftover eggs. Uh, and you might want to take a look because the cans, the left and right ones, are both green. But look at the the camel when you see it on your character. The left one is the is the red camel, right? And the right one is the green one. And you see it's going to rotate on your armor to show you what it will look like. The middle one, my favorite, it, pretty sure it was the one last year we had in the uh, Easter event last year. It will look awesome on a lot of stuff. And uh, I'm thinking about buying a few of these. And 15 is the cheapest stuff you can get. Now let's look at the big one, guys. Pedro has got the big oh, item that everyone go. will try to get if you're gonna farm for it. This is the legendary weapon, okay? The Project Ambra MK2. It's got pretty decent stats, but compared to Nico, lower fire rate, lower damage. But compared to other, I mean, it's got 40 in the clip. That's the difference. It's got lots of ammo. And it's pretty accurate, pretty good range, decent fire rate. And if you look for good perks, it's going to be decent for PvE. And probably for PvP too, because very good accuracy. If you go for headshots, got good fire rate. It should be decent. It's comparable to other weapons that are popular right now. Now, 1,400 eggs. Okay? That is a lot of time. That's like 28 hours of grinding eggs, farming uh, arenas for 28 hours. But there's two different kinds of opinions about that thing, and we'll look at both, okay? First of all, it's two weeks. So you have a whole two weeks to play and farm eggs. And a lot of guys say, is it that cool if you can buy everything on the first day? Because it's the kind of comment we heard a lot in the past. A lot of guys say, yo, these events are boring. We can buy everything on the first day. And then we got nothing to do for the next week. I remember the Christmas event, it was exactly that. Everyone had everything on the first or first two days and then nothing to do for two weeks and people were complaining. Now at least, I mean, they wanna keep us busy, obviously. If you want the legendary, you're gonna have to work for it. You're not gonna get it for just chilling one night. And then if you play a lot more, you can have the cosmetics. 400 for the bunny ears. I would go for the bunny ears before I would go for the uh, mad rabbit because mad rabbit you can get in strong boxes you can get in the lucky wheel but the extreme bunny ears super rare never seen before uh well it was i think it was the same on last year's event but they don't drop they don't drop in boxes or anything so i would go for the legendary first then if i have extra eggs i would farm for the bunny ears and then I would spend my extra eggs on probably camos instead of stickers. I don't collect stickers personally, but yeah, different opinions. Some guys are not happy that you have to play a lot to get the new legendary. 
and I see some guys that say it should be for the hardcore players. If you really want it, you have to work for it, and not everyone will be uh, running in the hub with that new Ember reskin, right? And some guys say at least it's not OP. It's decent, it's cool, it's a collectible, but it's not the most powerful legendary in the game. So if you don't have it, no big deal. If you're not a collector, uh, you'll, you'll get the Nico and uh, Faraday or whatever you like. So I guess I understand both opinions. Some guys happy, some guys not happy. Now what's gonna happen next? Two things can happen. Maybe a lot of people will complain on Facebook, like a lot. And maybe they will reduce the cost or bump up the drop rates of the eggs in the arenas maybe they will say it was a bug or sorry we made a mistake but i mean it is achievable okay and i will show you guys maybe how to get eggs faster but i got 167 on the first day okay i got 91 by just playing normally playing arenas and just normal the normal way but later tonight or later last night I did and go farm round ones of arenas because it's a method that people use in the past. It means just play the first round and then kill yourself with your rocket launcher and then restart the first round again, kill yourself, restart the first round, kill yourself. Silver arena seems to be the most efficient and I got about 70 eggs in about an hour. So it's more efficient because you don't complete the arena, you don't have to go back to the hub and reload. So you just kill enemies. You kill, you kill, you kill, you die, you kill, you kill, you die. So there's less downtime, there's less waiting, and you just kill enemies. So that's another solution. I will show you some gameplay. So it does look like that. We did it for about an hour, about an hour, maybe a bit less, but we did try bronze, silver, and gold. And silver seemed to be the best way, like I said, we did gold and uh it's harder so maybe it's less efficient and bronze arena there's less enemies uh, at the start especially here there's no snipers uh in the start of bronze arena so i did supercharger med kit and just kill everything a uh, couple tips maybe don't use am bomb i cannot confirm for this event but i remember from events in the past if you use am bombs the enemies don't drop stuff but I hope you guys can type in the comment under this video because we have two weeks. It would be nice to find out. But it just seemed whenever I use AM bomb, it didn't drop. So I said, let's stop using AM bombs. But I'm not sure. Uh, second thing, the drones. I remember also in the past, you try to shoot them before they explode. Uh, because in the past, if they explode, they don't drop anything. But if you kill them before they explode, they have a better chance to drop something. Once again, you guys probably can confirm if it changed, if it was uh, changed in the past. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Three players, silver arena, kill everything. And when you get at the end of the round, don't kill the last enemy. Uh, bring rocket launchers and kill yourself. Like get close to a wall, shoot two or three rockets uh, at the wall and you die from your own rocket. Uh, it's faster. If you wanna let yourself get killed by the last enemy, and it's gonna take some time maybe uh, if you start missing the shots and stuff but you see the eggs dropping i mean it's totally random i can tell you from the experience i had uh, on these runs uh, sometimes you get zero sometimes you get one but sometimes you get six the thing is you just keep going and you'll see now is the last enemy so we go to the wall uh shoot a rocket at the barrel or shoot a couple rockets at the wall everyone kill themselves with the rockets from what I did on stream though, it was about 50 per hour on average, but there was a lot of dead times. So anyways, you guys let me know in the comments what you think first about the cost. Is it okay? Is it not okay? Let me know uh, in the comments. And also give me or share your tips for the viewers that will read the comments. You have any better idea on how to get eggs fast? Because I think it's the most efficient way. But you don't get the loot at the end, so you can, I guess you can mix it up, play some legit runs, play some round ones. But don't do this with randoms because it sucks when someone leaves. If you have a full squad of dedicated players who want to farm, do it as a squad. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the tips. Uh, I will be back soon. 
Don't forget to subscribe for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guys, I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.